All right, so today we're just going to do a um, little review on this uh, Safego uh, Amazon uh, uh, egg incubator that we got. It was relatively inexpensive and there's been a lot of different reviews on it. So um, just if you're looking at how to set it up and maybe um, find some different ways to uh, keep the heat up or keep the humidity down for a while, um, those are some of the things we found with this. Um, we're just going to try a few different methods to get the best use out of this little incubator and um, hopefully it helps you out. So stick around for the video. Okay, so right now we were just kind of testing out the thermostat. We wanted to see how accurate uh, the thermostat on the incubator is. So we had just purchased this yesterday. Um, and so far last night we put it in. Um, we got it up to about 37.0 uh, um, for the thermostat we had placed on the, the thermostat, like the probe in there. Anyways, we got it up to 37.0. And so far our incubator thermostat has been reading um, 38.1. It ranges anywhere from 37.8 uh, to 38.1. It generally stays around the 37.9 and 38 mark um, quite regularly. So the thermostat itself on the incubator isn't that far off. I'd say um, between this uh, thermostat in the incubator and the thermostats that we've been trying um, to test uh, the incubator thermostat, they've only really have been about one degree off. So really it's not that far off and it's fairly accurate. Uh, what we have been having a little bit of trouble with, um, with this though is regulating the um, humidity level so we have these cheap little guys here um, we were trying to find some other ones like some better quality ones but a lot of places are sold out right now probably due to the fact that a lot of people are using their incubators so we um, did put this one as well as another one just to make sure we put um, them both in at different times and they both were showing that the, the humidity level in the incubator was around um, 80%, which is way too high um, for the first few days. So we're trying to find different ways at regulating that. Um, I did come across um, some different ways to do that. And this is one of the things here. Um, it's a humidity control pack. It's kind of like, oh, you can feel it's kind of jelly. Anyways, it's supposed to, um, it's from, uh, Go, I don't even know how to say that. Anyways, I came across this and it's supposed to, uh, and it's supposed to regulate um, the humidity levels. So if it goes above 62, um, it'll bring it down. It'll absorb the, the humidity, absorb the, the, um, the moisture. And if it goes below 62, it'll actually kind of release the moisture. So I know that's still a bit, maybe it's a bit too high yet for um, just putting the eggs in, but it is better than it being 80% humidity. 80%, you know, is more uh, what you would want probably for like the last maybe three days of the incubation period. So anyways, we're just going to show you, we're going to um, get it all set up and get it ready and we're going to um, put our, put our eggs in and you can see the process on how we're doing it to try to um, get the best hatch out of our incubator as possible because there's been a lot of different reviews on it online and there's not a lot of instructions so yeah we're just going to go ahead and we're going to see and you're going to see how we do it and hopefully it can help you out 
right, so the, in this little, um, the bottom tray here, it has such large holes that I'm just a little bit afraid of the little chicks on their first couple days getting their um, feet stuck in it or something happening to their legs. So I just got this, it's kind of like, um, it's for the kitchen cupboards, it's like a non-slip. And I just cut it a little bit smaller than what's in here. Um, just so that when the chicks do come out, uh, their, their, their legs or their feet aren't going to be harmed. And uh, hopefully I've got that just about the right size. So it, the, anyways, I just don't want anything to happen to their feet. So I just put that in there as an extra precaution. And now I'm just putting the rollers in. We've got fairly large eggs, so we want to separate them. Now they do come with different um, measurements. Like I can put them closer together for like quail eggs or things like that but my eggs are fairly large so we're going to make sure that they have enough room anyways they're all all they're all in there that's what it looks like okay so we're just kind of doing a little review on the safego amazon uh, egg incubator um that some people have gotten and there's really not um, any uh, great instructions for it or reviews or any YouTubes or anything like that um, regarding this incubator. So I'm just going to go over just a few things that I've learned um, about it. Um, it does come with the styrofoam. So do not, do not throw the styrofoam out. It's so important. And uh, there's a few people that have. Um, this is what helps insulate your incubator to help keep it warm. Um, also, um, it's got a couple holes here. So it comes with, um, this, uh, water here that what you do is for the humidity control as you, I mean, I've only put about that much in yet, but I just wanted to leave it out to show you. So there's two holes. There's one over here, which goes into a smaller compartment. Um, that is where I put the humidity control pack that I was telling you about and this is a larger compartment and that's kind of where I'm putting just give it a little squeeze and then we're just gonna put the water in there and I can't really see the water line so I'm gonna put a little bit more in It doesn't really tell you how much water to put in it. I honestly, I just filled this up and I put it in and we're just gonna see how it does. Oh yeah, you can see, I'm doing it. There's, um, maybe you can see it. Yeah, so you can see that. There's water in there. It's not a lot, but um, I just filled this up and uh, put that in there. You also, when you open it, there's also this, this comes with it too. I'm still not sure, 100% sure what this is for. Um, you get the spray bottle as well. So this is more um, to keep your humidity levels high, which right now I'm not having a problem doing at all, trying to get it to be uh, lowered. But during the last um, three to four days, um, of so basically after day 19 or around day 19, you'll want to start using this spray. I would put warm water in it. And on the top, there's a little bit of um, a little hole here, you know, um, and so during that time, I would be, I could do it right now just to show you. I'm trying to keep the heat up though, because we're going to put putting the eggs in here shortly. But you would just go, the eggs would be in there, you know, it's day 19 or 20 or whatever. And you just go in and you would give a, open it up, give a little squirt, a couple squirts in. And you want to do that, um, I don't know, like six to eight times a day, um, just to keep the humidity levels up. But like I said, this thing does not really have a problem keeping the humidity levels up. So what I may do is just take out the pack that I put in there for the last few days. And just to, because that's supposed to help to reduce the humidity levels to about 62. The other thing you get, um, there's this paper um, tips, just different tips on how to use um, the incubator. And then you get this little manual here, which really is very vague and it's hard to understand. And, um, but I, I've managed to kind of figure it out. It tells you how to put it together. 
sorry, my lighting's a bit off here. Yeah, so this just tells you how to put it all together and what you get. Um, and then it talks about like the cycles um, that are on the display screen. So I'll just show you really quickly when you go to set up your incubator, um, there's a set button here. And so that's just to set your uh, temperature, whether you want it to go maybe even a bit higher and you would press set. And so now what it will do is bring your temperature up to 38.1. So I, I like to keep it around 38, um, between 37 and 38.1 is where it fluctuates for me. Um, the other, there's a little button here. It's the light and that is for the candling which um, once we put the eggs in, we won't touch this, like we're not gonna open this uh, lid up until at least day five. So day f we're just gonna leave it shut, keep it warm. And then around day five, we can use, put the egg on here and we'll do a candling and we'll, I'm gonna sh uh, include that in this video as well. Um, the other thing is um, setting the functions. Um, so we've got, uh, so anyways, that's that one. So we'll hold the set button and it's going to bring you up to the P. Um, so these are just different settings that you're going to see in your manual. So if you go up and down, this one here is the egg turning and it's um, factory set for 200. Um, so what it is, I'll just get out of that. Um, so what it is, is that um, it's turning for 200 seconds. That is the turning duration that it's doing it. Now, if we go back, um, we press set and hold again. And we're gonna bring it down, I think it's F1, is the egg, um, gonna, there it is, there it's 90. So F1, this is 90, so this is how often your eggs are gonna turn. So every 90 minutes, again, this is factory set, every 90 minutes, um, your eggs are gonna turn for 200 seconds at a time. Now, I am going to tell you that you really can't see the eggs turning at all. So it's very, very slow. So I may, after day five, I may just go in and manually turn them. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not going to open up my lid until day five. So that's just a little bit about how to actually use um, this manual because it is a little bit tricky to understand. So this incubator is not just used for chickens. It's used for duck, goose, um pigeons and quail eggs so they do have a little bit here but today like we're going to learn a little bit about the the chicken eggs and it kind of goes over and tells you um what to do for uh between days i don't know if you can see that maybe i'll zoom out there days uh one to seven eight to 13 14 to 18 and 19 days later and it kind of gives you when you should be spraying when you should be turning what your humidity level should be and all that so it is there it is a little tricky to understand i'm not gonna lie but um i hope this video helps you out a little bit more because i was kind of racking my brain trying to figure it out so um anyways uh we'll just get on to the next few steps of what we're going to do all right, so now it is the time we've been waiting for, and it's to get these eggs in the incubator. And so just, so I've seen there's things, so I've seen that some people sterilize their eggs, and I've never done this before. So um, my relatives, some of my um, aunts and uncles that have farms, and my cousin has said not to sterilize their eggs. They don't do that. And then I've heard of other people that said, you get a better result from sterilizing. Well what I'm, you get a better result from sterilizing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my own trial. But um, I do trust my uh, relatives' opinions because they've always had chickens. So what I'm going to do though is I have actually, um, I heard that hydrogen peroxide um, is really good. So that's what I've done. I've taken half of my eggs and what I did is I took this and I just took one of my eggs and I just, I sprayed it and then I put it down to dry and I didn't dry them. So they're, they've air dried. But what I have done with the ones that I have used this for is that I put a little mark on them. I don't know if you can see that or not. And so, and then my other ones that I did not sterilize, um, or at least spray is I have left them. So there's no mark on them so that I can hopefully figure out which ones have had the best success rate. And 
how to make my own conclusions, which I think is the best way to do it. But just letting you know. So that anyway, so this is um, this is what we've done. We've we've got 16 eggs. We're gonna put all 16 in here. It's supposed to hold 16. So why don't we get started? So once I knew that I was gonna be incubating my eggs, it is important to um, store your eggs with the pointy end down. And so that's what we've done here. Now this incubator, some incubators you can store them um, with a pointy end down. This one, they're laying sideways, which I don't really like, but um, we're still gonna do it. I have, I'm having faith, it's still gonna work. So hoping even to get a few chickens out of this, this would be pretty neat. And so I've got a variety of different eggs. I've got like just the light brown, typical. I've got like a pinkish one, I think is my barred rock, but I could be wrong. Um, I've got some darker brown, um, darker brown eggs, which are my uh, copper morans. And then I've got my blue egg layers, which is from the Azure Blue. So we, out of all these, we've got the Silver Lace Wine Dog, we've got the Buff Orpingtons, we have the Black Sex Link, the Red Sex Link, uh, we've got the Columbian Rock, the Barred Rock, and I think that might be all. So there's a different variety. I've kind of got one of each plus maybe doubles of some. So it'll be interesting to see what we get. I think we'll have a pretty good outcome. And our rooster, he is a Buff Orpington. He's beautiful, but I'm kind of interested to see what they're going to turn out to be like. But Needless to say, I think they're going to be they're beautiful, and I hope that this works. So let's get started. Let's put them in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, just to make it even, as I'm going to put the uh, marked ones in different locations so that if one spot's colder or warmer than the other, um, then we will know. Um, so we have a better kind of idea of which ones are gonna work and which ones aren't, and maybe even where the cold spots are and where the warmer spots are. And that beeping's just to let us know that the um, temperature You know this is very cramped I don't know I almost don't know if we're gonna fit them all in here to be honest I mean these eggs are quite large anyways we'll see we'll see we're gonna try this is a trial here right so not a whole lot of wiggle room but I'm telling you, you wouldn't want to have any bigger eggs than this. because if they're just straight um, up and down, just keep that bit up for me so you can um, they're not really fitting. So I'm just going to turn them a little bit. Maybe some of them I'll turn a little more. Anyways, they all did fit in here. All eight, or all 16 did fit in here. So anyways, let's just um, get that on and we'll figure out how this is going. Okay, so we're just going to put the 
turn it back on. Thank you. So just gotta make sure, and what I might, sorry, let's get this lid on here and I'll worry about that. So what I might even do, let's get you straightened up. So what I might even do is just to keep this a little bit warmer, keep the temperature up, is I may put like a towel around here. I haven't 100% decided, but basically I want this to be kept closed in for a minimum of four days and possibly on the fifth day try candling. So pretty excited. I hope this is going to work and I want you to stay tuned um, for the next video and see what our results are so stay tuned stay watching um to make sure you don't miss out on the outcome of what we're doing and how everything works out thanks for watching